Hey everybody, welcome back to No Breakaways, your source for all the Zwift racing tips and tricks. Super excited to have Matt Gardner on the show today from Sars Pro's Closet to teach us his top tips for team time trial. Hey Matt, welcome to the show. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, Rick? Good, good. Thanks a lot for uh, for coming on the show. Really excited here. Uh, everybody's been asking, how do you TTT? And I thought, who better than the uh, the best TTTers in the game, Sars Pro's Closet? Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. I'm looking forward to uh, giving up our team's uh, secrets to the <laughs> TTT. Yeah, no, I, I that that's great. So, uh, you know, Matt gave me six of their best tips. We're going to go by, go through them one by one and check out some clips that they were kind enough to put together for us. Our first team time trial tip from Matt, ride in a single file line. Let's jump right to the clip and Matt can walk us through what he means. Yeah, so riding in a single file line is far more efficient for the team time trial because you can have one person expending all their energy on the front while everyone else is recovering behind them. Um, and it actually, because you can break up the race into intervals this way, that you actually have work and recovery periods. So like, as you can see, when we have one person on the front pushing extremely hard, everyone else behind is, is recovering. And the way the draft works in game, the farther away you are from the person on the front, the better your draft is. So when you fall back to the back of the group, you get the most recovery, and then you can just wait until you have to go on the front and push as hard as you can. Yeah, so that's great. So I see like, um, so Matt there on the back, he he fell a little bit off. Um, how hard do you have to push to catch back on? Um, it, it might be a sprint, actually. It, it's like, for me, and and wattage will vary based on your your ability, but like I might have to push 500 or 600 watts as I get to the back of the group. Um, but whatever I can do to just get sucked right back into the draft, um, it, it kind of depends on how fast you're falling back. So it, it comes with practice. The more you, the more you practice, the better you'll be at, at, um, getting back into the single file line. All right. Team time trial tip number two, sync and sprint. Matt is going to walk us through what he means by that. Yeah. So the sync and sprint is how you get from the front of the, um, Peloton to the back. Um, so basically what you want to do is you're going to want to drop your wattage from your polling watts that you determine with your team all the way to zero or very low. And what will happen is you'll sink like an anchor straight to the back of the group as everyone overtakes you. And then the sprint is getting back into the draft. So as you can see here, as I'm falling back through the group, I sprint right when I get to the back and it sucks me straight back into the draft. So I'm not disrupting anyone else and our speed is not um, impacted at all by me going back through the group. Everyone just kind of flows through me and I just fall to the back. So one of the things you need to watch out for when you are doing the sink and sprint is the other riders need to push past you. If they don't, if they're not pushing hard enough, you'll actually bunch up. Um, so you can see here, like when I let off the gas, they weren't pushing hard enough to go around me and I actually interrupted their flow and it slowed us down quite a bit. So you need to make sure that everyone else is moving past you and you're falling to the back. Our third team time trial tip, plan and communicate. Yeah, so planning and communicating is crucial for the team time trial. Um, you need to know exactly what your guys plan is going in um, as far as your watts per kilogram target for your poll durations. So for us, we might, aim for like six and a half watts per kilogram on the front of the of our um, train and everyone else sitting behind can recover at like four and a half um, depending on if you're on flat road or you might be going downhill you could be at zero watts um, behind but you need to know what the plan is before so that you're not creating gaps by going harder than what everyone else is anticipating and then communication is huge. So our team uses Discord and we actually have someone that's on Discord, not racing, telling us, Matt, get off the front and get to the back. And then the next person will, will slide up and you just, you don't wanna have to think when you're hurting really badly and team time trials, pretty painful. So it's nice to have someone in your ear telling you to get on the gas or, or to close a gap um, so you don't have to really think and you can just do what you're told. And um, it, maybe you don't have someone there, but you guys can at least communicate um, just as a team, 
to close gaps or um, to up the pace, or maybe you have a key climb coming up that you guys need to um, plan for and let someone else recover in that moment. So when you guys are doing this, Matt, um, you have somebody there telling you, but are you looking at the time or if you don't have a, a designated DS, you know, are you going to look at the time or do you think it's better to have one person in your group just calling out time, time, time? Um, I think you should you should pay attention to it um, if you don't have someone calling it out. But it, it is nice to have someone on the team designated to to call out for switches. Um, but it also should be organic, like maybe someone's having a really good day and um, wants to take a, a 60 second poll rather than if you've communicated to do a 30 second poll. Just you just need to let them because the TTT is about speed maintenance. So whatever is fastest, if someone's feeling really good and can make you guys faster that day, um, let them take longer pulls. But people need recovery, so you can't you can't hog the front of the, the race. You need to get to the back and recover um, and let other people um, take the win for you. Our fourth tip: take short, strong turns. Yeah, so this tip, uh, short, strong pulls is about your work to recovery ratio. So um, if you have a four person team or a five person team, uh, our team aims to take 30 to 60 second pulls. Um, so that like if you have four people, if I take a 30 second pull, then I get a 90 second rest immediately after that pull. Um, and that that allows me to, to really push for that entire duration um, as hard as I can to maximize our speed and then I can recover so that next time I'm up, I can do the exact same wattage and, and keep our speed up as high as possible. Um, but yeah, as I said in the last tip, if, if you're feeling good, you can push. It, that's why it's hard to pick a, a certain, like 30 seconds only, because maybe I'm feeling good and I want to take 60 second pulls and that's going to be the best thing for our team that day. Um, or maybe I feel like crap and I need to take 15 second pulls, like whatever works, just uh, when you're on the front, you need to be going as, as hard as you can um, without obviously dropping your teammates. Um, and that's just going to be the fastest way to get through the course. I would like to take this moment to let my team know I will only be taking 15 second pulls. So <laughs> our next tip, practice, but be flexible. So yeah, practicing is everything for the team time trial because this is something that does require a ton of skill. Um, but you have to be flexible in the moment. You could you can go into the with into the race with the best plans, but um, and a set start order and a set watts per kilogram. But in the moment, you're going to have to adapt um, just to what's happening in front of you. Like it's really easy to sprint back onto the back of the group and accidentally overtake someone and mess up the entire order. Well, that's the new order. You can't you can't go back. You can't say oh. Pass me again. I need to get back to my spot. Well, you, this is your spot now. You whatever you can do to just keep the flow and the momentum as as high as possible the entire race. That's going to be the fastest uh, way to get through the course. So Matt, when you do that, say you you drop back and you're trying to get in the end and you get in the middle, you actually change the order. You don't keep the order the same and have somebody just pull up from the back. Yeah, you just need to. Your rest is just not going to be as good that time. So. Maybe that's when you take a, a 15 second poll instead of a 30 second poll, but just just know that that's the new order and do whatever you can to to not disrupt the flow. Because if you do try to scooch back to a different spot, then it's just going to it just creates confusion and just you just got to be ready for um, for the unpredictable. Our last tip, know the course. Knowing your course in the team time trial is really important because um, there might be like rollers and rises um, or there could be a substantial climb. Um, one of the biggest things is, is let's say you have someone on your team who is weaker. Well, getting them to the climb so that they can get up the climb with everyone um, is going to make you faster on the descent. So maybe into the climb, your strongest riders need to pull for a minute or two so that your weaker riders can rest on the back. Um, and then on the flip side, when you get to the top of the hill, put your heaviest riders on the front because they're going to go down the hill the fastest. Yeah, so as you can see here, as I'm ending my pole, I'm actually going to take um, a, a really good recovery on the downhill because I'm behind heavier riders. Um, Holden's going to take the pole here on this downhill, and I'm going to sit in this draft at like 100 watts while he's pushing out five and a half watts per kilogram on the descent. Um, 
So it allows me to really take a solid rest on the downhill. And then when we hit the flats again, I can take a pull and I can keep our speed up as much as possible. All right, everybody. So those are our TTT tips with SARS Pro's Closet. Matt, thanks a ton for coming on. Is there anything you wanted to say? Yeah, just uh, thanks for having me. And um, big shout out. Thanks to our, our sponsors, Saris and the Pros Closet. Um, you can find us at sarasthepros.closet.com. And um, yeah, follow our racing. We're in the premier division of um, the Zwift Racing League. And we're currently in the lead after race one, heading into the team time trial on Monday. So uh, we'll be using all these tips as much as we can to try to hold off uh, Canyon and teams uh, in the, the premier division. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for coming on, Matt. Yep. Thanks, Rick. All right, Zwifters, that's the show for today. Huge thank you to Matt Gardner from Sars Pro's Closet for coming on and teaching us all about team time trial. If you liked the show, please click like and subscribe below and leave us your comments about your best team time trial tips. See you next time.